Columbus, Georgia, paying my respects to the Kennedy Circus tragedy victims that died here six miles out of town around 106 years ago. It says employees the Kennedy shows is killed in a wreck on November 22nd 19 and 15. The victims were circus performers and also animals. The show had ended in Atlanta, Georgia and they were traveling to Alabama. It was a successful show. But later on in the day a train was on the same track and their train struck it head on. A fire erupted, the ablaze spread, and the people that did survive the crash and the animals in that section of the boxcars was burned to death. They said from historic reports and from interviews that there was around 24 people died in the horrific event. Also the circus animals. It says right here this marker was created in 1916 by Elledge and Norman Monument Company Edward Wise Allen Foreman. And as you can see it's carved to look like a little circus tent or what is known as the Big Top. Being a fan of the circus and the sideshow and the history of Carnival, all my life I've wanted to visit this and pay my respects to the victims that are buried in this mass grave. All that remained of them was bits and pieces and ashes and they were scooped up and brought here and laid to rest in this historic cemetery in Georgia. Circus folks have seen many tragedies throughout history from tent fires to natural disasters and many accidents that have left them only a memory. As you can see, people still leave flowers. And they'll leave coins. In memory and honor of those who died tragically that day. I found it kind of eerie the moment I stepped out of the vehicle to do this video. I heard the faint cry of a train go by and it was almost chilling because not only did that remind me of what happened and why I'm here today but there's been many ghost stories evolved out of this tragedy some people say that at the act actual location where the event occurred that a mangled torso apparition has been seen roaming the area as if the ghost is still searching for lost body parts. There's been legends told of a little boy asking for a nickel so he could go to the fair. This is a sad day for anybody that's a fan of this type of lifestyle. The performers, the carnies, the showmen. They live tragic lives, but they do it because of the crowd in the next town. They do it because they love to do it. Because they live to perform. 
and sometimes they even die doing what they love. It says on the back of the marker here, We'll not forget thee, we who stay to work a little longer here, the name, the faith, the love shall be, on memory's tablet bright and clean, and when o'erweared by the pull of life, our heavy limbs shall be. We'll come and one by one lie down upon dear Mother Earth with thee. is so sad. If you really, really research circus history, there's been numerous tragedies. From P.T. Barnum's Museum of Wonders burn into the ground to train crash here in Columbus to the tent fire. I can't remember where that one occurred. It was really tragic. Show folks have been through it. They keep on going. November 22nd, 1915, 106 years ago, the world lost a great show. And I'm here today honoring them in this video and forever remembering them as a part of showman history. I'm the Highway Ghost. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video for the tragic history of the gravesite of the Columbus, Georgia train wreck victims of the Kennedy Circus. Thanks for watching.